So earlier, I reported on a possible release date for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, but THQ Nordic has spoke up and put the rumors to rest. Let's discuss right now. A quick shout out to Telltale, this is a fan of Metal Duckles, and uh, I love this one so much. Metal Duckles looks so cute over here, although I gotta say, the legs look a little bit interesting. You know, they look robotic, but like not really at the same time, so I'm not sure what's going on with them, but I really dig it. Metal Duckles looks pretty quirky in this picture, so thank you, Telltale, I really appreciate it. Anyway, hello there, beautiful human. My name is Riders DX. welcome to my channel, where today, I need to start this video off with an apology, actually. And the reason I'm doing that is because earlier this week, I put out a video about a a potential release date for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So to recap, someone tipped me off that a Nintendo newsletter was being sent out to people that had a release date for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And after that, people really picked up in the story and it just basically spread like wildfire. And so everyone was pretty convinced that May 22nd was the release date for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, which happens to be the same day as when the movie comes out. It turns out though that that's not the actual release date. Credit to IG for putting the rumors to rest. They reached out to THQ Nordic and got an exact quote from them on whether or not this release date was real. And so here is what THQ Nordic had to say. We're keen on getting Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated into the eagerly waiting hands of the fans as soon as possible. However, we've asked our magic conch shell when we should release it and are still awaiting its command. We'll let you know once it has spoken. And so, as you can see, there is not actually an official release date for Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated yet. I'm not sure what happened on Nintendo's side, but something happened that made them think that Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated was coming out on May 22nd. And so, when I first saw that newsletter, I was actually pretty convinced that that was the official release date. And so, I felt really comfortable with putting a video out, letting you all know that, like, yes, I feel like this is almost 100% real that this was the release date. But here's why I believe Nintendo over, like, a whole bunch of other release dates that we've seen, because I've got a lot of messages. I'll tell you all right now, lots of people have sent me messages messages of potential release dates from like various retailers such as like Target, Walmart, Amazon, you know, all these different like retail sites that list a release date. But the reason why I didn't believe those release dates was because it's from a retailer site and retailers have to have some kind of release date on that product because consumers are wondering when it's coming out. And so as a result, they're going to put some kind of like estimation or like a placeholder date. You know, a lot of sites in particular had December 31st, 2020 as a date, which is a classic placeholder date to have on any kind of product that's scheduled to come out within a year, but they're not sure when during that year it is. But the reason why I treated Nintendo's release date differently was because Nintendo single-handedly pointed out Battle for Bikini Bond rehydrated and put it into the newsletter with a confirmed date. So in my mind, this was probably an intended date at some point, and it makes a lot of sense too, because having the game release coincided with the movie makes a lot of sense and could be a really smart move, you know, having the movie promote the game and having the game promote the movie, Spongebob fans will naturally try to do both as a result. The release date makes a lot of sense, and so if it's not the official release date, which from the looks of it, it's not, then I do think it was the intended release date at some point because otherwise, there must have been a major miscommunication between THQ Nordic and Nintendo that caused Nintendo to single-handedly take the logo of Battle Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, put it into their newsletter, and put a release date under it. It's not like they had to put some kind of date like a retailer because there has to be some kind of date on there for consumers to kind of like get an idea of when to expect the game. No, Nintendo pointed out the game and put it in their newsletter willingly. So I don't feel like I was wrong for assuming that that was the official release date, but I was wrong and I do apologize for that and unfortunately I think I got a lot of people hyped up for it and I'm really sorry for that but bottom line is there is still no official release date for Battle for Bikini Bond Rehydrated but because THQ Nordic said this I do have a feeling that the game is going to be coming after May 22nd rather than before or on that date and so the game probably isn't as far as in the development as we were all thinking based on the release date and it makes a lot more sense for 
for me because like I said based off of like what Shift said about the game the game looked like it still had a lot to do in terms of like development you know it has been three months since Shift visited them so they probably progressed pretty well so far but I don't think they progressed enough to the point where they are able to release it in May I think that just is a little bit too soon but what do you all think when do you think this game is going to come out let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and do you want this game to come out sooner or do you want them to take their time and have it come out later you know let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below and again apologize for hyping people up i was really hyped up about the release date myself and so that's kind of like my own doing as well so i kind of hyped myself up as a result as well but anyway thank you all so much for watching this i really appreciate it all right please give this video a thumbs up you like it subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these want to see more in the future follow me on twitter or twitch and join my discord server to spongy garden special shout out to reese gaming team route with sonic gamer glitch dolphin and desiree reb these are my patron slash youtube members if you like to become a patron or youtube member get access to a whole bunch of different perks then please check out the links in the description box below but okay this is riders riding out